Hi everyone! This is me with no eye makeup on and I've had a few requests to show you how I do my eyes so I thought I would um, show you the products I'm using and how I'm getting ready and today I'm wearing a little more makeup than I normally would because we're getting pictures taken so keep that in mind. <clears throat> I think I will um, get in front of my mirror so I can see what I'm doing. First, first thing in my uh, repertoire I guess is that I have an old lady makeup mirror that is extremely magnetized. So, well, that's not good. Bear with me. Right. So, there I am. Now, to start off, I'm going to use Max Matte um, Cream under my eyes before I put on the concealer. This just makes a really smooth canvas for the Studio Studio Finish <clears throat> Concealer. I have that in NC20. And I think it's fine for under eyes. It's kind of thick, but as long as you, you know, use something really smooth underneath. I've tried it with um, All About Eyes also the uh, Clinique eye cream. So after I've done that I will prime my eyes with Eden Urban Decay Primer Potion. Just a little bit goes a long way of this. If you use too much it can get really cakey so keep that in mind. Um, I think I've talked about this before I really do prefer the one with the wand because you can get it underneath your eyes pretty easily but no biggie. The next thing I would normally do is my brows. I have this, and I'm, I don't even know if they make this anymore, but this is an Anastasia brow kit. It's got a shimmery highlight thing. I don't use that. I just use this um, color here, the one in the center. It's all pitted and weird, but that would be why. I put my... Um, brow color on with a MAC 266 brush. This is the special edition brush. I think it's better than the regular one. It's really stiff and works well for brows. Um, I think they actually advertise this as a eyeliner brush, but there's no way you'd use this for eyeliner. It's too thick. So this is a, um, a brush I use faithfully almost every day. But I also, on occasion, will use a pencil. It just depends on what I'm in the mood for. This is faster, I believe. So there's that. And I pulled out today um, several items. I have two different of my favorite Buxom palettes. I have um, Swing and Belly Dance. I'm wearing today a um, <clears throat> navy blue blouse that I haven't worn in a long time. So I was thinking... Now what would be complimentary? I have this brush I bought recently at CVS. It's got this huge end, absolutely huge. And the other end is for blending. And I think this is a really cool brush. If you happen to see one, pick it up for sure. <clears throat> I think I'm going to start with, actually, I pulled out a couple other shadows too. This is MAC Grain, and I have MAC Vanilla as a highlight color. I tend to... Um, Use a highlight color that is not shimmery. This is only grain. This is on the lid. Is only a little bit shimmery. I don't like a lot of shimmer when you're like about over, I don't know, 30. You start seeing the shimmer go in every crack and crevice, and that's not an attractive thing. So there's that. And then I will take my MAC 217 brush. I think this is an essential brush to have in your collection. Um, Sigma does make a knockoff of it, but the, the original is better in my opinion. And I'm going to take this matte tan color out of the Swing palette and put it in the crease to start. And so, yeah, that should give a little definition. Always tap your brush off so you don't have a lot of excess floating around. 
fallout is not fun to clean up in any situation, be it eyeshadow or anything else. So here we go. Um, so there's that. It's starting to look a little more done. I am going to take this grayish, navyish, somewhat shimmery color with my CVS tiny pencil brush. This is a lot smaller than a standard pencil brush. Let me see if I can give you a comparison. Here's the Sigma pencil brush. It's really tiny. This is from CVS, Essence of Beauty. I think these are <clears throat> a great line of brushes for inexpensive. Just get right underneath the lower lash line. Like I said, I'm going to be wearing navy today, so I think you don't want it real matchy matchy, but a little bit compliments. Don't be afraid of anything under your lower lash line. Sometimes people think you shouldn't put anything there, but I think it makes your eyes look bigger. All right, next, and I'm just doing this kind of on the fly with you because I'm not exactly sure what I want this to look like today. It's for photography, so, <clears throat> you know, you don't want to do anything too, too crazy. But here's one of my very favorite MAC shades. In fact, I think this is my favorite MAC shade. This is Saffron, and it's from the collection, um, I think it was last year's summer collection for the, it wasn't to the beach, I can't remember what they called it, but. They had a lot of beach themed items. I think I'm gonna put this right here in the outer corner just to have a little pop of this pretty rusty orange color. See how that, just barely noticeable. This was at the cosmetic company outlet lately. I picked up a second one absolutely love this color. <clears throat> when it comes to color, if you have green eyes, you can use, you know, oranges, but the people that really benefit from oranges are the blue-eyed beauties. I like it also on brown, brown eyes. Um, so there's that. Looks a little weird, needs a little blending. All right, so since I put the navy underneath. I think I'm going to put some in the outer V with that, for the sake of continuity, with that same little brush. I'll start on the side. I'm just going to put it there as though I'm lining my eyes. So just a V. And then blend, blend, blend. So that's pretty subtle. Now in photography, today I did not wear sunscreen, so hopefully we're not outside a lot. Because sunscreen will cause a white cast on your skin in the sunlight and it just makes you look very pale. I don't need help in that area. I'm already an NC20. So there's kind of coming along. All right. So I'm just going to take this 217, blend on top of that a little bit. And then put maybe a tad more of the saffron on top of that. Now I'm going to take my Stila Cajal and line the waterline. I like a nice creamy black eyeliner like this. This is a really good one for not tugging. Now, before I forget, I'm going to use this, my very favorite, Urban Decay Sellout, as a inner corner highlight. I think I will use the 
end of my CVS dual ended brush. Just put that right there. And that will make the eyes pop in pictures. I just want to line the upper lash line subtly. And now I'll do mascara. So that's that. And then I think I will take the little brush again, a little more of the blue, smudge this out a little bit. The Stila liners are really nice and they are a little bit movable, which is kind of cool. So I'm going to take this grain one more time, once over right here, right on top of the line, I mean above it, and there's that. Now, <clears throat> now I will quickly do this one. This is my Voluminous Mascara. And... There we go. I may even put some false lashes because this is for photos. So that's, there we go, that's the end result. I hope this is helpful to you. Um, I know I love watching tutorials. I've never made one, so I hope that was, hope that was easy enough to, to use. I hope you're having a great weekend and I will talk to you soon. Take care, have a great day, bye-bye.